You just built a new PC or you've upgraded your hardware and now it's time to download and install Windows 10 from a USB flash drive for free. I'm Boy Named Kelly. This is going to be super easy because all you'll need to do is follow along with me step by step. It's important to note that in order to create a USB flash drive with the Windows 10 installation media, you need access to a PC with an internet connection. When installing Windows 10, you have the option to activate your copy or keep it as the unactivated version. What's the difference? Apart from activation prompts, you won't be able to personalize your experience very much. So if all that bugs you, you can buy an activation key from Microsoft and that'll fix everything. I've got this thumb drive here and it's 32 gigabytes because I plan on using it for more than just installing Windows 10 once I'm done. It's got a lot of space and it's really fast, so I'll be sure to link one in the description for you guys so you can use it for yours as well. Now let's hop onto an existing PC and download the Windows Media Creation Tool. I'll link that in the description below. Underneath where it says Create Windows Installation Media, select the button that says Download Tool Now. Once the tool is completely finished downloading, open it to begin the media creation process. Accept the terms and change the option to Create Installation Media USB Flash Drive DVD or ISO file for another PC. Select your language of choice and make sure your architecture is set to 64-bit, then hit Next. On the Choose Which Media to Use screen, select USB Flash Drive. The next screen asks us which USB flash drive we should use for the installation, and you'll want to make sure that all the drives are disconnected. Once you've done that, go ahead and plug in your USB thumb drive, then select the refresh drive list so your drive appears. Please note that it is vital that you back up all files that you have on your thumb drive that you're gonna use for this, because it's going to delete everything. Once you've selected your drive, click next to begin the Windows 10 download. Did you know I made a video about which settings to change on your PC when you install Windows? I can show you how to keep it fast, looking good, and free of junk. After you finish this video, go ahead and check out that one. I linked it in the description below. When Windows is finished downloading, eject the thumb drive, then plug it into the PC where you'll be installing Windows 10. To get your PC to actually boot to your thumb drive, you need to open the boot menu, then select the option that says UEFI for your USB drive. Some common keystrokes to access your PC's boot menu are Escape, F2, F10, F11, F12. The specific key to press is usually specified on the startup screen of the computer itself. You can also access your PC's boot options by entering BIOS and changing the boot priority. Your BIOS key is set by the manufacturer and it could be F1, F2, F10, F12, or the delete key. Don't worry though, I'll link a BIOS keystroke cheat sheet for you down below in the description. That way you can find your manufacturer and the corresponding keystroke to enter BIOS. Once you've changed the boot priority to your USB thumb drive, save and exit, then reboot your PC. Here in Windows Setup, you can select the corresponding regional preferences and then click Next to bring up the Install Now prompt. Now that we're on the Windows activation screen, you have the option, if you've got one, to enter a product key, but I'm just going to select the one that says, I don't have a product key. The Setup Wizard gives us some different options for which version of Windows 10 to install. Just keep in mind which version your specific product key is compatible with if you play on activating it down the road. After you've made your selection, click Next. Go ahead and select the box to accept all the applicable notices and license terms as if we have a choice, then hit Next. Now Windows Setup wants to know which type of installation we're going to do, and since this will be a clean new install, we'll do the second option that says Custom Install Windows Only Advanced. Advanced? What, like it's hard? The next screen is asking us where we would like to install Windows 10 and will sometimes show multiple drives with multiple partitions. I strongly suggest that you unplug any drive that you don't want completely wiped from your computer. That way you don't experience any data loss. Once you're all set, go ahead and delete any partitions you have so that you're left with one drive that Windows will be using for the installation. After the install is complete, there will be partitions that the installer created back on your hard drive. After you click Next, Windows 10 will begin installing and your PC will reboot. Please know that because we originally told your PC to boot to your thumb drive, once it reboots, it's gonna wanna find that same thumb drive again and boot to it. Consider going back into BIOS boot settings and changing the boot priority, or just physically unplug your USB thumb drive, that way your PC doesn't boot to it again. Now let's make sure that you set up Windows 10 properly, that way you don't run into any snags down the line. Upon booting up, Windows will prompt you to select a region, then click Yes. Select your keyboard layout and then click Yes. If you need a second keyboard layout, you have that option as well. Select Setup for personal use if this is just a home PC and then click Next. 
Windows now gives you the option to use your existing Microsoft account and transfer over your existing Windows license, but for now, I'm just going to make an offline user account. Microsoft asks you to sign in so you can use all of their services, but I'm going to select the button that says limited experience because I'm not interested in all that stuff. Here you can create your user, so just type in your name and then click next. I never use a password, so I'm just gonna leave it blank and click next. Next are some privacy settings. I personally like to turn all these off and then click accept. I'll also decline the digital assistant. We don't need any assistance. We just installed Windows 10 by ourselves. Now that Windows 10 has booted, you have the option to activate your copy of Windows if you want by searching activation settings and then selecting the option that says change product key. And you did it. Congrats on your new installation of Windows 10.